Welcome to this video about logging in the user in Blazor Server by using Google's OAuth client. We then uh, show the user uh, his or her claims and also the profile picture. So uh, first of all, you have to go to the Google uh, Developer uh, Cloud portal and register your OAuth client. There you have to give them the redirect URI. So if Google uh, authenticates the user that they know where they have to redirect you. In ASP.NET Core, this has to be the, the host name uh, followed by sign in Google, because this is a part of middleware that ASP.NET Core uh, listens to. And you also have to copy uh, the client ID and the client secret. I have a link in the description that goes through these steps uh, in, in, in great detail. So I've told you about uh, the middleware component. Of course, ASP.NET Core has to be configured to work in such a way. We have to add authentication. I just call it cookies. So that's the default scheme. Default scheme is just uh, so that it knows which scheme it has to use for authentication, authorization, and, and signing. Now I am going to configure the cookies. The cookies per default are called uh, exactly like this cookies. So I don't have to change here a thing. I'm going to change their names. So the name of the, I, I'm not going to change the name of the authentication method, uh, but I'm going to change the name of the cookie that is created uh, to trying out Google OAuth. And I'm going to give them a login path slash off, so I have to create an off controller uh, that has a, an action with the route sign in Google. This will redirect the user to Google. Now I have to install a NuGet package. Uh, so here it is. Now I can call add Google. In here, I will give it the client ID and the client secret. And I also will configure it in a way that we can uh, can, can get uh, the user's uh, profile picture. So options client ID equals. Uh, we are getting the configuration here over dependency injection. So we can just call configuration uh, Google.id. So this means go to the Google section and take, then take the, the value that is stored under ID. For client secret, exact same thing. Google uh, secret. Of course, I have to configure uh, these values first in app settings JSON file so that it works. Now here, Scope, we have to add the scope for profile so that we are also getting uh, information about the profile. I just do it here manually. Maybe it's uh, per default, but I'm just doing it so also for illustration purposes. Maybe you could do it also without it. Now, events, we are subscribing to an event. The event is called on creating ticket and it gets triggered by ASP.NET course middleware when the response from Google is received. Uh, it takes uh, OAuth creating ticket context as a parameter and returns a task. So in here, we have to retrieve the picture context user get property. That's a user is a JSON object. Now we are getting the uh, property with the name picture and we want its value or its string get okay, string now we have to add it manually to the claims of the user so context identity add claim create a new claim claims constructor takes uh, for like claim is different uh, overloads for its constructor and the one that we are using expects two strings 
the first string uh, is the type of the claim that you want to create and the second string is its value type we are uh, making our own one so we are not using the built-in ones uh, picture and the value is the piguri now because it expects a task as a return type we could just mark it async but then we would have like the squigglies and the compiler says you are not awaiting anything so we are just returning a completed task like that so now of course we have to between use routing and use endpoints also call use authentication and use authorization if it wouldn't call use uh, authentication the middleware wouldn't run and the cookie wouldn't be set now here i've talked about that we have to uh, make a new controller with the name of and the action signing google so so that our controllers uh, are routable to call map controllers now let's create this controller it's very important uh, yeah, not very important but it's it's important that you uh, choose the api controller not the mvc controller uh, call it off controller going to delete this one here now define an action that listens on get requests sign in ah, how did i call it google login i think sign in google oh, okay no yeah here i made a mistake sign in google well i could also call it sign in google but it would be a bit uh, it's not the best naming because sign google is the endpoint that the middleware of asp.net core is listening on it's listening on it listens there uh, without the off uh, thing but i just rename it to google login that makes more sense so here google login it returns an action result because we want to challenge it so we want to return a challenge just call it Google, doesn't matter too much. And uh, now in here, I have to configure the authentication properties. These properties are getting passed to Google. Authentication properties, uh, redirect URI. Now I return the challenge, uh, pausing the properties. And here I go to Google defaults uh, authentication scheme. That's just a constant that uh, evaluates to uh, Google. So we could have just uh, typed this one out too. Uh, yeah, that's it. Now I, well, maybe just to, to make it clear, you have to register for a redirect URI with signing Google. And these authentication properties are for the middleware of ASP.NET Core. So Google doesn't do anything with them. I've misspelled uh, myself. Uh, that's for the middleware of ASP.NET Core. And so when ASP.NET Core receives Google's response, it knows it has to redirect us to here because Google redirects us to signing Google and from there uh, ASP.NET Core redirects us to here. So, uh, of course, we are in Blazor, so we want to, to make it a bit tangible, like that the user can, can see his or her claims. We have to wrap everything in the cascading authentication state component here. And now we can go to the index com component. Here, we use the authorized view component. So if the user is authorized, we just uh, enumerate over his or her claims. Ah, again. Okay, yeah, I need the add, not the hashtag. In context.user.claims, <clears throat> first we display the name of the claim and then its value. Okay, yeah, so the name is like the type item and then the value. And because we've configured it in a way that, that the image is getting a display too, we have to, uh, of course, uh, display the image. Now we are setting the source equals to context user claims. And now we are filtering the claims and we set the name or we set the type of the name to picture. So we are filtering it. 
we are taking the first one and we want its value. So uh, now I have to first, before we run it, um, also create a button, exactly the button. Uh, oh no, let's make it a, let's just make it a link. So the link will prompt us to, uh, to the controller that then goes to Google and logs us in. In a real application, of course, you have to do it with the branding from Google. Login with Google. So now the href is off Google uh, login. Is this right? Google login. Yes. Now I have also to go to the app settings file and configure it. Uh, and configure it. So first you can watch how I'm doing it and then when I pass the, the ID and secret, uh, yeah, you can't you can't look, but it's not that spectacular. So ID and here secret so that we can retrieve the values. Now I'm pasting my values in there. Uh, where are they here? Now I will show you two uh, workflows. The first one will be if the user is logged out from Google. And then the second one, if the user is already logged in. <clears throat> I think you are quite familiar with them because a lot of applications do it this way. So, log in with Google. Ah, yeah. So I just realized that I haven't uh, changed uh, the save the redirect URI in Google, but now I've done it and now it should work. I haven't changed it to the new application. So now you see the workflow. I am not, uh, I'm signed out currently. Here I have to provide uh, my password. So here I see the claims with the, the, the universal claim types. And I, here I also see the picture. Now uh, I just go to the uh, browser tools. Go to application. Now here I should see the cookie. Okay, so I just delete both of them. Now, if I refresh it, of course you don't see anything. Login Google. Now I was I hadn't to go to Google because I was uh, uh, signed in already. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.